everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am welcoming you from the first race of the ninth season of the Formula E in Mexico. I am here with DS Switzerland and DS Performance and the purpose of this video is just to basically take you along and show you what this is all about. First things first, as you can see behind me, we have a small setup with camera and lights because we are interviewing both the drivers, Jeff and Stoffel. Um, to get some information for you guys specifically for the DS account um, and just to kind of explain what's going on this year with the new rules and with everything that's going on in the Formula E. One thing that you need to know about me, I'm still in the clothes that I was wearing when my plane arrived in Mexico because my suitcase got lost. So if you wonder why I'm wearing what I'm wearing because it's maybe not uh, branded or it's not uh, perfect, you know why. Right, interviews are done. The next thing that we get to do is a little track walk with the drivers and the team. So as you can see, actually these two drivers don't walk the track walk together. They each have their own engineer and like their own designated team. And those are the ones who are walking with their drivers to check the track, to check the details and to make sure they can be quick. It is almost half past two now, which means it's time for the shakedown. For the people who don't know what the shakedown is, it's a 15 minute slot where the drivers can get in the car and out on the racetrack with limited power because it's not about the performance. It's solely to understand if the electronics work right, if the systems are ready. And then uh, later today, we will have the first free practice of this weekend. So that's going on right now. I'm keeping my safe distance here behind this thing in the box. But one thing, and I will show it to you in the next clip, that is absolutely mesmerizing in my opinion, is the silence. I am so not used to this silence. Usually when it's close to a session, the cars are revving, they are heating up the engine, everything. And here it's just absolutely silent. More editing and more preparation for the race day tomorrow. There is the media center, and I pretty much spend half the half of the time each day um, in there, <laughs> creating content by, or editing content and getting stuff done. So now it's close to 4:30, which means it's time for the first free practice of this season. Um, it's going to be interesting because we have the new cars on different tires. No one is used to anything here, so. It's wide open what's gonna happen now. But it doesn't count yet, it's practice, so good for everyone. So the first free practice session is done and our boys, let's say, our drivers, finished on P1 and P5, which is quite promising for what is going to happen tomorrow, which is another free practice session, uh, qualifying and then the race. I will see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, because we start already at 7.30. Good morning, it's Saturday and first things first, I got my suitcase back. I'm finally dressed the way I want to and I look the way I want to. Okay, Saturday, which means race day. So uh, in pretty much 40 minutes, it's really early by the way, it's a quarter to seven. So at half past seven, we have another free practice session. Uh, qualifying's after that and the race in the afternoon. Let's go. to the viewing area and uh, everyone is just ready to get this baby going. are still going basically because there is this different type of qualifying that they do here in the Formula E with 
um, separate groups and then they go into quarterfinals, semifinals and finals. To go into quarterfinals you have to be one of the four quickest in each group and unfortunately neither Stoffel nor Jeff were able to make it. It's a shame. I think the expectations were definitely higher. We'll take it as it is and we'll see what happens in the race. Uh, we were just inside to edit for roughly an hour. We come out and look at this. It's full of people, absolutely full. I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna try to find some food. As most of you know, for sure if you follow me on Instagram, you know the grit is probably my favorite moment on a race weekend because the whole teams come together, all the cars are in one place and it's usually quite crowded and busy. So the first race didn't go as planned. We have uh, Fandon on P10 and we have Jeff on P12. I'm guessing that's not what they hoped for. Nonetheless, the media pen is the last thing on the schedule for me today. I will try to get some questions and answers in from the drivers and then that's it for today. P12 is uh, for sure not what you had hoped for today. What was the problem? Uh, I had a, a battery issue in the last lap and I lost a couple of positions so I had to fight very hard with no front wing to, uh, to finish in the points um, and those are the points you know that matters at the end of a championship so I, I fought really hard for that but um, yeah the, this battery issue in, in the last lap uh, caused me the, you know, to, lose, uh, to lose the points so yeah a bit frustrating. So it was the first weekend for you with this team. What is the main focus for you to prepare for the next one? Yeah, it was uh, the first weekend. I think, um, you know, as I said, these days are so compact that, you know, we collected a lot of information. It was, you know, good to to work with the team under pressure as well, because that's, you know, it, it always changes the mood a little bit when everyone gets under pressure and see the way they're working. So, um, yeah, it was very valuable. I think uh, we're in, in fairly good shape and uh, I'm sure for the next race we can uh, make some, uh, some adjustments. Nonetheless, it was the first race weekend uh, in this season. How did the whole weekend feel for you with the new car, the new rules? Um, I think we have a good car. Um, we understood a lot of things this weekend and, uh, you know, we're only going to come back stronger from this one and uh, many races in the, in the championship so you know i'm hopeful for for the future we have a good car we need to, to keep the head down and uh, you know keep walking so and that's it from the Epri here in mexico city i hope you liked it i hope you liked the behind the scenes and seeing what my job here is for ds switzerland with ds performance and ds penske uh, i will see you in one of my next videos and one of them will for sure be another formula e race see you then bye